Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. A um, couple things. I just wanted to uh, kind of touch bases, update on uh, that last video with uh, all the dead fish. Um, coffee, it's 730. I woke the tank up, tanks up too. I've got a timer on these, one of those smart butts that I got all the lights plugged in. And I don't remember what time it comes on. It's either 8 or 9, but it's a little after 7.30 right now. Mm. Coffee first. Um, so I had, uh, what, 10 um, uh, Serape Tetras and 10 Black Skirt Tetras. And within 24 hours, uh, most of the Serape Tetras had dropped off. They were, oh my. Um, I'm gonna have to share this later. Uh, I, I will, uh, but I just saw something that just blows my mind here. Um, that's funny. Um, and then within four days, they were all dead. Um, and they were all in the 75 gallon here behind me. And fortunately, I don't know what happened. Uh, if, you know, I thought I started to see signs of ick on uh, the black skirt tetras, um, the serapis just dropped. Um, I mean, I, you know, I was finding them floating up in the top in the, in the roots of the, uh, got some little, uh, dwarf water lettuce that is only doing so well. Um, but they were, they were tangled up in that. They were down in the plants. Uh, the black skirts I found, you know, in different places, uh, down on the gravel behind the, uh, the uptake for the filter. Anyway, so, and then I, I managed to catch the last four or five black skirts put them in a five gallon tank, dosed it with uh, some methylene blue, and they look like they might have had a fin rot. Uh, so I put a, uh, uh, the one, I think it's myosin. Um, anyway, it, it didn't matter, they were, they were gone. So I took them back uh, to the vendor, and one of the comments on, on my Instagram post uh, asked, was it dot, 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 co, or dot, 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 smart? Well, I got them from dot, 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 co. Uh, and they made good 100% on the refund, so you know that that worked out. I still hate to lose fish; uh, it it sucks in a big way, you know, especially like that. And I'm really glad that it, whatever it was didn't run rampant in here. I was concerned about these two angels that are still in here. Uh, that was another one all by itself. I I can't tell you. I think I started with 17 or 18 in a tank, and, and there's two left. Um, they, they were small, they were probably the size of a quarter, the body size, and they were just dropping off right away. I never did anything about it. I didn't go back to the vendor with those. Um, and then that one orange koi got stuck upside down behind me between the rock and the glass, kind of upside down, like it got in and tried to get out. And it was kind of scuffed up on its scales on its uh, left side, I think. And uh, and then it's... it's uh, pectoral fins were looking kind of ragged. And then I thought, oh God, you know, it looks like they're starting to get a, a, um, a some sort of fin fungus there. And it seems like not. Uh, and I'm grateful they seem to be okay. Uh, it was it was struggling the first couple days. That I was so lucky uh, that it survived. Um, it's a nice pair. It's, I don't know if they're, they're male, female, whatever, but it's, you know, pair two, right? So there's two angels in there. And I'd like to get some more koi uh, angels to put in here another half a dozen or so. Um, I'm seeing now look like the ram's horn snails are kind of running rampant. I'm gonna have to start fishing some of those out. Um, but anyway, so I just thought I'd touch bases with you. Somebody on my Instagram page also chimed in, uh, telling me that they were having problems with uh, um, cherry shrimp uh, and they just all dropped off. And I was trying to reply and, and I don't know if it's the powers that be at Instagram or their settings, I couldn't reply to them. But what I would say was I, I uh, bought red cherry shrimp uh, twice um, for the tank in the house. First time, they just all dropped off. Second time, you know, now I got more than I know what to do with in several tanks. Uh, and then I also bought Blue Dreams and Orange Sunkist. And the Blue Dreams did fine right away. The Orange Sunkist all dropped off. Bought some more. Uh, I waited a while for both the cherry and the, the Blue Dream. And they're all doing fine. Now I got more than I, all of them than I know what to do with. Um, I'll probably be putting them on eBay here before too long. Um, 
what I would tell that person was, uh, uh, you know, what I found or what I think I found, it was just the tanks weren't well seasoned yet. Uh, so when I when I put the shrimp in finally, uh, lots of just none of that fancy, you know, uh, pelletized uh, shrimp substrate, whatever, just sands and gravels. Um, lots of plants for lots of biofilm for the shrimp to feed off of. Uh, there's a EA Bacter little powder. You can put some of that in the tank. I did it first, and it just creates a, a bacterial a lot. What is it? A bio slime for the shrimp to feed off. But if the tank's well established, shrimp should just take off. I've, I've tried to introduce shrimp, uh, the Blue Dream, in this one uh, a couple times, and I've seen a couple. So I don't know if they're just hiding really well um, or, or whatever. So uh, I'm not sure. Um, but I did that in a couple tanks and, and you know, sometimes they're just, tanks aren't ready for them yet. And I think that's all it is. And I was buying the shrimp from a vendor in Fullerton, California called Swimming Creatures. I found them on Amazon and I've seen them on Instagram with a discount code on Instagram. Amazon still has a better price. So that's where I buy them. Uh, and I've, I've gotten stuff from them. I've gotten all my shrimp from them, including a mono shrimp. So I would go back to them in a heartbeat. But anyway, I know that's a total sidebar, so thanks for that. But I want to show you guys something that I just saw, and I'm just going to pull you off the tripod, and uh, and it's going to get bouncy because I don't, I don't, I'm not. The last video I put up like this was talking about these dead fish. I didn't edit it. I just put it straight up, no thumbnail, no nothing. And I'm going to do that with this one also. But I just saw something behind, uh, behind you, behind the camera right now. I've got a, a 29 gallon tank full of guppy grass and full of guppies uh, and it's back to back with the tank that uh, my my juvenile bettas are in and the amano shrimp and I found a mono shrimp in this guppy tank uh, they just climbed over and the best I can figure is they came over the uh, the plant bridge of uh, pothos and philodendrons I'm seeing a betta in there now I don't know how the hell they got in there but there's one of the the, uh, the platinum bettas in there, one of the juveniles. So let me pull you off and I'll show you that. Hang on. Here we go. Here goes the vibration. Yeah, and while I'm thinking about it, let me say a couple people have asked about these shirts. Uh, this one, uh, Neon Tetra. I like small fish and I cannot lie. And I've got them in black and white. And then I've got one with a, a Tiger Oscar. It says, I like big fish and I cannot lie. Oh, black and white. And hoodies also. Um, and there should be in my Instagram uh, bio a link for, and I think it's a 15% discount code if you're interested. And then also on the YouTube, uh, down in the description, there should be a link. And also there should be a 15% discount on that. So anyway, I hope you go there, check it out. And now let's check out that better that jumped ship and figure out how it did that all right this is the the tank with all the juvenile bettas another 29 gallon okay and there's the tank over there so now I'm looking for bettas on the ground uh, it looks like I might have to start covering that tank and here's the tank on the back side. There's the juvenile betta tank with all the little juvenile bettas in it. And this is the guppy tank with all the guppy grass and guppies and some peppered quarries. And look who's there. I have no idea. And lucky that it made it over here. It looks like a little female. Yeah, let's get you in there. There we go. Looks like a little female. So looks a lot like her mother, really. Anyway. So anyway, um, Lots of sidebars, sorry about all that, but you know, it is what it is because it's Saturday morning and I still haven't got enough coffee in me. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for, that's fun, thanks. Thanks for watching as always, I really appreciate it. And your feedback is always valuable. I really appreciate that as well. And, uh, and once again, uh, ha happy Saturday.